Out where a friend is a friend. <laughs> where the long horn cattle. You ask me. He's lost the plot. I mean, it's so obvious she's after his money. I thought they didn't have any. What was crying the poor tail? What they call poor and what we call poor are two totally different things, Matt. Yeah, they think they're poor if they can't afford a winter holiday. <laughs> and we think we're poor when Repo Man comes to take Telly away. <laughs> Did you think they have sex? Uh, don't even go there. I mean, it's a wonder Anna didn't have a word with her dad, didn't it? She did. Mrs. Williams would be turning in a grave if she could see him now. Do you think so? Oh, yes. I mean, she was a cut above the rest. She thought she was. She was my mother's sister, and I know for a fact that they were both brought up on a council estate. Well, that's news to me. When my auntie Imogen married my uncle George, she fell on her feet. Mm. Then when my dad left, my mum went round to clean for them, because we needed the money. Oh, right. Oh. Hello. <laughs> it's been. Mm. We were just saying how you used to clean for Mr and Mrs Williams. Oh, yeah. You only used to come with me, didn't you, love? Hmm? I used to get all Anna's clothes when she'd grown out of them. Because little Sarah had to have them all new. Fiona, they were good to us. Treated you like one of their own. Took you to the seaside, brought you presents. Well, they would do. The family. Let's be a couple of minutes, I've got something to check. Oh, I've got my skirt, if you tell you more.